Today we're going to be talking about two of my most favorite things in this world that are dogs and books and here we have this book which is an amazing book I love etology and I love dogs and I love to learn new things about how enriching their lives training them more successfully and caring for them as they deserve and this book is amazing I had heard very good things about it and I second them uh, it's what the science of making your dog happy by Zazie Dude and uh, she explains things in a very clear way uh, it's very easy to understand and it's very easy to relate and also she sustains everything she says in different words done with dogs different experiments different uh, trials different things and at the end of the book you're going to have all the notes about uh, everything that she's uh, talking about so you have these this uh, author is explaining you what uh, you know different things and there's this solid base for what she's explaining which is something that I like a lot because I like uh, things to be proven because um, way back we had all these grown theories about uh, alpha dogs wanting to dominate and it was used the term domination in which they wanted to be the boss of the home and you they told you that they never should walk before you and that you had to bring them to heal and they should never eat before you and all this stuff that it didn't have any solid foundation and I'm sure made lots of dogs and owners miserable because it didn't work you know and I love that we have all these new trends with all that's being learned and that's still being learned because we have a long way to go. And I love that there is new studies done with dogs that prove that uh, they are dogs and the things they do is because they think, see the world differently and it's better to understand. This book also explains to us how they feel the world around them, how they see the world, how they react, how they grow up so that you can better empathize with them and teach them in a more, in a more rewarding way uh, using food, using price, you know, and something I agree completely with. And yeah, I mean, this book is amazing. It covers different chapters. We have them here and we have Happy Dogs, Getting a Dog, which is going to be talking about the importance of researching the different breeds that you are thinking about bringing home and going farther than just uh, choosing a dog because of how it looks. It also uh, says that you should reset the character of the dog, the different illnesses it might have when it grows older, and the different uh, level of activity it can have and so on. So you uh, have like a perfect match, uh, so to speak. And then it uh, talks about how the dogs learn, what I say about how they see the world, how they use uh, their nose, the sensory information they provide by all facts and all of that. Uh, motivation and technique, it's uh, different uh, ways of teaching your dogs, rewarding them and all of that. The bed on grooming, it says uh, how to choose a dog, uh, dog a bed that your dog feels comfortable with and you do. Uh, the importance of having a bed that you can trust and that can you can build a bond with and the way in which uh, they treat your dog it's very important too and uh, you have uh, to begin handling puppies from very young age so they are comfortable being handled by the bed later on social dog it's about the importation of socialization when the puppy it's a uh, three four weeks old it's uh, when they are you know the brain is grinding itself and it's the best moment in which you have to introduce different things to your puppy so you know um, they know how to to not fear anything you introduce them to strangers to different dogs to different situations so you know they normalize all of that then we have uh, dogs and the people dogs and children Time for walkies. I'm not explaining that because I think that it is like quite self-explanatory. Enrichment, uh, it's about uh, you have the basic needs of, needs of your dog, like food, water, uh, taking care of their health and having places to sleep. But also they offer different activities and sports and things that you can do with them in order to have uh, richer lives for them. So they have happier lives and the bond between dog and owner, it gets better and better. And food and treats, different kinds of foods that you can feed them, uh, the importance of the same feet and different treats that you can offer them. The sleeping dogs, the importance of, lo of sleep for dogs because they sleep lots of hours and they talk about the REM cycle or whether they dream or not and the importance that they have their own, own, their own sleeping places. 
fear and all the problems it talks a bit about societal anxiety societal separation anxiety uh the fact whether they grow or can be aggressive and it, it talks about different things about that maybe they have fear when they go to the streets and see cars and see certain people and how you can help them and the importance of if there is some behavioral problem that you cannot fix alone of going to people who can help you and he also talks about seniors and dogs with a special needs what to expect if you have a special dogs a special needs dog or when you go grows all sorry your dog grows older and also uh, sadly about the end of life uh, when uh, you know chronic all diseases when the dogs are suffering the need for euthanasia and all of that and then we have our last chapter safe dogs happy dogs where it uh, kind of makes the summary of everything it's being explained about the importance of seeing the dogs for what they are they are dogs they have different ways of reacting to the world and it's very important that we began to take conscience about it and that we do our best so we uh, give them right, right um, fulfilling lives because they are, we are all they have. And I think it's our responsibility when we uh, get a dog to understand that they are living things and that we have to care for them to the best of our abilities and that we, at least I think, that we should always be looking out for new things to do with them and to understand them because there's a lot of studies and lots of things that are coming and I think it's a, like kind of our obligation to be up to date so we can offer them the best lives possible. I, that's my opinion. And then at the end of the book we have uh, what the author has called Checklist for a Happy Dog. It's like after reading the book and seeing all the different things that she presented us, it's to check which kind of things we do uplift with our dog and if we do not uplift them just uh, think if we should and how we would change the life of our dog and all that. As I say in the notes, uh, because when we are reading, uh, she is talking about different um, experiments or driving exercises or um, different things. And at the end, we have this little, you know, we can check the footnotes with the numbers and we can see the, the name of the different articles or whatever that she has uh, brought forth. Then we have the acknowledgements, and finally we have an index, so if we want to fast check something, we can. I have to say that I love this book, as you can see. <laughs> I put a lot of pauses to it, and I think that's a very complete book that goes from the fact of getting a puppy, what you have to take into consideration when bringing a dog home, how to teach them, and, uh, you know, it to help them to be... Uh, a better dog, to be fearless, to be confident, to have this bond with you, what you can do to help them, how you can train them, the positive things about training because it makes them, you know, having this eureka moment in which I did it, that's very positive for dogs and how to walk them, the importance of walking them, of, uh, you know, making a closer bond with them and then uh, sadly when they get old and we have to take uh, into consideration some decisions that I think no owner wants to take because I think that the uh, the worst part of having a dog is the moment to say goodbye. I mean, it's horrible. And yeah, but I love how comprehensive this book is because it gets, you know, from the beginning to the end. Obviously, maybe there are things that you want to explore further and the author talks about her blog where you can go and check because uh, she keeps on talking about different things and suggesting books and things of that. And yeah, I will recommend this book to you if you like ethology, if you like dogs and you like, you know, to be up to date in the new ways of training dogs and understanding their behavior and offering them a better experience at life. And you know, uh, yeah, this is the book. Thank you for watching. Bye.